this this piece um, it came about a couple of years ago. I, I sort of I live um, I live in Leeds and my studio's in South Leeds, and it's in this extraordinary area really. There's um, a load of old industrial buildings, old factories, waste ground, and it's been inspiration for a lot of work over the last couple of years. So there's a, a route that I take regularly and probably spend more hours wandering it than, than is good for me. But I'd go along this road and there's a cafe where I sit and I'd sit there for hours and just watch people going by and think, what on earth, why are you here? What makes you come here? Because it's such an odd <coughs> mix of people, such a collection of people. And increasingly it's sort of just the, the absurdity of every day really. It's, um, it's, it's just stuff that's going on, it's perfectly ordinary, and yet there's something about it, you're seeing it in a different light, and it just becomes interesting and fascinating and out of the ordinary. And I decided to just start making notes, really, of the people going by, just passers-by, totally anonymous, and to see what happened, to see what emerged. And so I just sat there one summer, it was middle of the day, watching people as they were going by for their lunch, sat on the street corner and recorded pretty much everyone that passed me by. Um, I was sketching, photographing, and I ended up with all these images and then went back to the studio and just started drawing at one end. And it was just as they came, no editing, no choosing, because in life you sit there and you don't choose what comes around the corner and what you meet. So I just sat and began at one end and just drew my way through. I had no idea what was going to emerge. I had no idea what the piece was going to look like. I wasn't even really conscious of size, um, the size of the paper. Um, but it was, it was really nice because I started to just be able to use sketchbook techniques. Um, a lot of the time when you're making art, you sort of use the sketchbook as a resource and you spend a lot of time drawing into it. But then when you come to make final pieces, the spontaneity of the sketchbook just disappears. You start at one end and you just draw. And if things went wrong, they had to go wrong because I couldn't cover it up. I did get worried about spilling paint onto it because if that had happened sort of three quarters of the way through, that would have been a bit of a pain, but it was all right, just, just kept going. And so you end up with this completely mad mix of people who are all connected and associated through passing by that particular corner of South Leeds. And I don't know what they were doing, you could guess in some cases, but um, I just find it completely fascinating that, that they're all there and all connected and yet there's something quite odd about it all as well if you sit and look. I mean, why, why would somebody be pushing a baby in a pushchair in this slight industrial area, sort of? Um, and uh, I think each, each person tells their own story. But it's very much the sort of thing where the viewer will create their own story, create their own narrative about the piece. There's a lot going on and you, you can't really read the piece at a glance. Um, I like the idea that you have to sort of walk along it um, because it sort of replicates and also go around a corner because it replicates the experience I had in a sense of sitting on the corner and watching people go by me. Um, but I think this sort of narrative aspect, this, this long horizontal format is, is reminiscent in a way of oriental hand scrolls which would tell a story and you'd sort of start at one end and roll it up and read as you went across so there's that sort of element in it um, but then there's a very narrative European tradition as well and Hogarth springs to mind and, and all that sort of thing is, is there somewhere in the back of my mind and sometimes I think that these feelings I get of dissonance or oddness about the everyday it, it's just because I'm glimpsing the ordinary and it, it seems out of place and it's almost absurd, but it's still there within its ordinariness. Um, so I find it interesting that you can get these perceptions challenged in that way.